Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, production and absorption of a reactive power. Production and uh, absorption of reactive power. Normally, when it comes to the topic reactive power, it may be absorption or it may be compensation. If we talk the first uh, equipment or the component that comes to picture is a synchronous generator. First one is a synchronous generator. Synchronous generator can absorb or generate uh, the reactive power. It's not just like uh, it is going. It is only going to generate the reactive power. It's nothing like that. It may also absorb uh, reactive power. This is purely depends on uh, the excitation. Okay, how we are going to excite uh, the generator leads to absorption or uh, generation. First. One is uh, these can uh, absorb or generate reactive power depending on the excitation. depending on the excitation what happens when we over excite or uh, under excite okay when it will uh, generate or when it will absorb is when the generator is over excited it generates reactive power and when the generator is under excited it absorbs reactive power remember depending on the excitation it absorbs or generates reactive power when it is over excited it generates and when it is under excited it absorbs it acts uh, both as an absorber also a generator synchronous generator first equipment is a synchronous generator Second one is uh, overhead lens. Or a transmission lens. Second one is overhead lens or transmission lens. In a transmission line, the surge impedance or a characteristic impedance of an overhead uh, line, we all know, it will be having some impedance. Transmission lens carries some impedance. And we call it as uh, the search impedance the search impedance of an uh, overhead line is uh, given by Zc is equal to square root of L by C where L is the inductance and C is the capacitance or shunt capacitance of the transmission line. Remember L is impedance and C is the capacitance of the transmission line 
and the natural load or um, we call it as a surge impedance load S I L capital S capital I capital L S I L is given by S I L is equal to V naught square divided by Z C V naught is the output voltage and Z C is the impedance. Okay. Remember, we notice the rated voltage at any load below SIL surge impedance load. If the load is below SIL, transmission lines generates. reactive power remember if the load is below SIL transmission line generates a reactive power at load above SIL transmission lines absorbs a reactive power remember if the load is below SIL it generates a reactive power if it is a above SIL it absorbs a reactive power even overhead line acts as an absorber also a generator and uh, the third component is uh, underground cables these have um, high capacitance remember underground cables have uh, high capacitance owing uh, which they have high natural load natural load is nothing but um, surge impedance load SIL okay as we discussed previously if it is having a high it absorbs reactive power hence they are always loaded below their SIL and uh, generates reactive power since the underground cable is having high capacitance and they have high natural load underground cables itself is having high natural load and uh, hence they always load below their uh, surge impedance uh, load okay that's why they generate uh, reactive power and our fourth equipment is a transformer remember a transformer is an inductive in nature they always uh, absorbs reactive power okay irrespective of uh,
no matter uh, what the load is transformers always absorbs uh, reactive power okay remember this fifth component is uh, loads these uh, loads are normally inductive in nature we all know most of the equipment most of the loads are inductive in nature hence uh, they normally absorb reactive power they normally absorb reactive power we also know heavy lagging loads causes severe voltage drops heavy lagging loads causes severe voltage drops and last one is uh, compensating devices these uh, devices are added either to absorb or to generate uh, reactive power either to absorb or to generate a uh, reactive power these devices are uh, controlled to balance uh, the reactive power balance reactive power as desired okay all the compensating devices are controlled so as to get a uh, the desired reactive power remember first five equipments that we discussed are uh, traditional uh, observers and uh, generators and here these compensating devices are uh, nowadays are uh, modern uh, facts devices are modern techniques and we will study in detail in uh, further videos okay these uh, each part will uh, continue in our next video separately thank you